Okay, so the next question represents, um, asks you which expression represents the number of students per faculty member in 2004. Okay, so we have, um, we're looking for some kind of ratio where students is on top, faculty member is on bottom, and this is for the year 2004. And judging from the remaining answer choices, it's going to have something to do with multiplying it by R, which is the number of students per faculty member in 1999. So we need to get the data for 04. And so since all the answer choices we relate to using the base figure for 1999, you have to somehow get from 1999 to 2004. And to do that, you're going to have to use F and S. Right? So which of these is the right answer. Well, let's draw it out. So basically, we're, we have information for 99, we know the percent change, and we're trying to find the information for 04. So you just draw it out. You have, well, in 1999, you have this amount of students, this amount of faculty, there's some percent change that happens, and then you get your final result. So basically, you combine this, and you're, you're basically essentially saying, well, it's just whatever you had originally plus number of students. Again, the, the question is asking you for students per faculty. So you have to make sure that students is on top and faculty is on bottom. So then it's just simply 100 plus S over 100 plus F for faculty. And that'll give you the student to faculty ratio. So now where on this question would you mark your answer? Well, it's you look at it, it's 100, you have to make sure that S is on top, faculty is on bottom, so it's not this one. It's got to be either this or this. This one says 100 minus S, that's not what you want, because you're talking about the, uh, you have to add the percent change. That percent change, if S is negative, yeah, that could go negative, but the idea is you add the amount of change. So this is what we want, and so for students per faculty in 04, you mark this one. So again, your final answer is for, uh, for this one is uh, this expression right here. And for the original one, it was this expression. So there you go. Mark it as your final answer and move on. Okay, let's do a recap. So basically, you read this question. You notice there's two dates, 1999 and 04. And you're given information about how it changed, F and S. That represents the change between these two years. You're also given in if, in initial information about the number of students in 99. You were asked to find the number of faculty in 99. So basically you combine this data point with um, R, which was the ratio for that year. So you combine 5500 with this R to get the faculty number in 99. Then you were asked to find the ratio in in a uh, 04 and in order to get that you have to combine that with the amount of change that happened as well as the original number of students in 1999 so for the second part you combine this piece with this piece to get this final piece so this is generally how you approach the question you read it through you identify what needs to be answered and you look at the pieces of information that you have in order to answer the question. For example, you know this one, the second part, you notice that, well, of these three, they all relate to multiplying it by R, which is right here. So you have to somehow take this R piece of information and combine it with F and S in order to get your final information. So again, this is a two-part analysis in the integrated reasoning section for the uh, new GMAT as of 2012 and here it is.